Hi, Nijo. Hello again, sir. And how may I help you this time? May I have this statuette? It is broken, after all. Certainly. And when my father deals with that feline for breaking it, you can have a Davy Crockett hat as well. So long, Nijo. Toodle pip, sir. It was a length of coarse gray toweling from the toilet at the Club Alamut. The grease paint had worked magic. Now it looked like aged marble instead of cheap plaster. Hello again, Pearl. Why, hello, George. It's such a pleasure to see you again. What do you think of this fine piece of ancient statuary? Oh, my, that's just what I've been looking for. Would you like it? Would I ever. I'm not carrying the money, though. If you go and find Dwayne, he'll pay you for it. If he gives you any trouble, just tell him that I want it. You said that your company is based in Akron. And Dwayne said it's in Cleveland, no doubt. Well, yes, he did. Dwayne was in the Marines in Vietnam, you know. Anyway, he got a medical discharge. Thing is, he gets confused. We moved away from Cleveland five years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean... He also gets a little paranoid. Thinks he's a spy or something. I'm so sorry, Pearl. Don't worry yourself, George. We live with it. Have you met the taxi man, Ultar? Heavens, yes. What a big man. Very muscular. But you didn't go for a ride. Why, George, you're absolutely the most... Oh, you mean a taxi ride? No, Dwayne wasn't interested, so it didn't happen. Have you had anything from the kebab stand? Heavens, no, with my digestion. Have you ever heard of a hill called the Bull's Head? No. No, I haven't. Is it nearby? I'm not sure. Sounds awful romantic. The Bull's Head Hill. Do you know what Il Akal Kalb means? My, sounds romantic. Yeah, I don't think it is, though. Have you ever heard of a group of knights called the Templars? Sounds familiar. I remember. Dwayne had a book. The holy something and the holy something else I can't quite recall. I read a little of it. And? Seemed like a lot of hooey to me. I've got to go now, Pearl. It's been a pleasure, George. Don't be a stranger. Hello again, Pearl. Why, hello, George. It's such a pleasure to see you again. I've got to go now, Pearl. It's been a pleasure, George. Don't be a stranger. Hi there, Dwayne. Hi there, George. How can I help you, young fella? What do you think of this? Good gravy. Looks old. Yeah, I had to turn this town upside down. Boy, your luck's better than ours. Looks Roman. I wouldn't know. What'll they say back home? How much do you want, George? Oh, I couldn't. It's the find of a lifetime. I mean... Fifty bucks. Take it or leave it. I'll take it. Here you go. And here you go. Thanks for the money, Dwayne. This'll come in real handy. I ought to be thanking you for finding this Roman statuette. Have you met Ultar? Almost luxurious air-conditioned taxi ride, mister. Yeah, the cabbie. Tried to pull a bunco on us. Take us on a wild goose chase off into nowhere. Have you ever heard of a hill called the Bull's Head? Can't say as I have. Where's that? I don't know. I'm trying to find out. Bull's Head, huh? I must remember that. Sounds scenic. Have you had any dealings with the kebab seller? Absolutely not. Pearl's already had one attack of Montezuma's revenge. 
Have you seen this man before? Maybe. Where'd you get it? I just picked it up somewhere. Sure. I'm always picking up photos of complete strangers and then asking around. Ow! Damn it! There. I've got another picture of a complete stranger. Maybe I'll ask around about this one. Okay, well, I'll see you around, Dwayne. Count on it, George. Hello again, Ultar. Praise be to Allah. I am blessed with your bountiful presence once more. About Bull's Head Hill. Are you desirous of seeing this most splendid place? Well, maybe. A terrific bargain. Only 50 of your Yankee bucks. 50, huh? Okay, it's a deal. Here's the cash. Ah, most splendid. As you say, the cash price moolah is correct. Mister, we make with haste. Where exactly is your taxi? Because the only vehicle I can see around here is an aging army surplus truck. Yes? Ah. Okay, I'll be along in a minute. It didn't seem right to take off with the toilet keys, so I left them on the bar. Hello again, Ultar. His most splendid and adventurous client. That's your taxi? Oh, yes. Most assuredly. Most entirely splendid taxi in all Marib. It looks like an old army truck to me. Bah! You Americans with your checkerboard caps and your jet hashes. You have lost sight of what a taxi should truly be. About four tons by the look of it. There. You have hit the nail in the nutshell. Okay, already. Let's go. Regrettably not, most esteemed fair. There is a minor problem of a tiny nature. The fan belt has taken it upon itself to break. So, what are you going to do? What can I do? I must wait for a ride to the garage for a replacement. How long is that going to take? One day. Maybe six. I can't wait that long. We've got to get moving. But how, my friend? I'll think of something. Is this any use to you? My friend, the very thing, yes! Ultar took the towel from me, cut it in two lengthways, and gave me half back. With his half, he did the kind of fan belt replacement that's normally done with stockings. Now, if I knot the ends together, so... Serviceable, yes? Very serviceable indeed. Stockings might work on a Bentley, but on a truck, the coarse toweling did the job nicely. Come along, my friend! You want to see the bull's head? Yes! I could see that crack would make a good anchor point.
With a flourish, I tied the end of the towel to the stick with a textbook reef knot. I could see that crack would make a good anchor point. Well, that looked really safe, but I had no choice. I hadn't anticipated going mountaineering when I'd come to Syria. I didn't like the idea of putting my hand in there. But hey, what the heck? I was only risking mutilation. No blade took my hand off at the wrist, and no scorpion stung me, for which I was very grateful. But there was something in there, a metal ring, as wide as my hand. I took a firm hold of the ring, I tried not to think of death traps, and pulled. <laughs> Whoa, there! Around the corner, I found the corpse. Oh my god! Klausner? Large as life and twice as dead. I'd hardly had time to accept the fact when I heard the door mechanism start up again. Oh, man, no! The door had slammed shut, trapping me. I had a bad feeling about how Klausner had died. I couldn't think of anything to do with the statue, apart from scaring small children with it. I couldn't take the inscription with me. All I could do was stare at it and try to memorize it. In occidenta cita est, in ora mundi. Okay, that would have to do. Whatever had been in the bottle had been drunk. Klauser must have died of thirst and dehydration. Bull whips might be handy for exploring ancient ruins, but they're no use when you're trapped in a cave. Klausner clearly fancied himself as a latter-day Indiana Jones. I've done more fun things in my life than searching a corpse, but as my life expectancy wasn't great, I figured I should try every new challenge that came my way. I cautiously flicked open the jacket. Hey, what's this? I'd found some kind of lens. A very old lens made from a very hard glass. That settled it. The knight on the manuscript had been holding a lens the whole time, not a crystal ball. I searched the corpse. No portable phone, no demolition charges, no five-course meal. You'd think international conspirators would go around better equipped. A stone head bearing three bearded faces. It was a strange image, but a powerful one, redolent with antiquity and ancient mysteries. The mount's open. It must be Ultar. My God, if he comes in, we'll both be trapped. Ultar, don't come in. It's a trap. Stay where you are. You. Hello, Mr. Stobart. We meet in the most unusual places. Please, do not make any sudden moves. I have no desire to maim you. Did you say maim? I did. Dead men tell no tales, as you say. And I want to hear everything that you have to tell me. And what if I don't want to talk? Then I shall, most regrettably, have to kill you. Rest assured, however, that I am an excellent shot. You would not suffer. 
Oh, that's good. Uh, believe me, I'm really assured. It is rather dark in here. I think we should conduct our business outside. Why should I make myself an easier target? If I fire at you, Mr. Stobart, I shall hit you even in here. But, unfortunately, my marksmanship will suffer. It could be the difference between hitting you in the leg or the groin. Boy, it sure is hot in here. No sudden moves, Mr. Stobart. Now then, where shall we start? How about being bosom buddies and you putting that gun away? Klausner, do you know where he is? Yep, he's dead. Just around the corner of the cave. You want to look? I'll take your word for it. How did he die? Starvation or dehydration, by the look of it. He was caught in this trap you were shouting about. Yes, I suspected as much. The Templars were not ones to give away their secrets lightly. Was he carrying anything of importance? Yeah, he was carrying some sort of lens. I've got it with me. Give it to me. I don't think so. Don't be a fool, Mr. Stobart. If I give it to you, what's to stop you killing me? What is to stop me killing you anyway? You might hit the lens. Not if I shoot you in the head. When I fall, the lens might get broken. Yes. You plead convincingly, Mr. Stobart. Perhaps you will live to see another day. Perhaps. Was there anything else? Well, there is something, I guess, but you can't move it. Yes? What is it? It's a treasure map. Your X marks the spot. Come now. Do you expect me to believe that? Yeah, okay. You caught me. But round the corner, there is something in Latin up on the wall. Latin? Do you remember it, Mr. Stobart? In Accidenta Sita Est, in Ora Mundi. Ah, the words of Caesar. Yes, that makes sense. Well, I know that roughly it means to the west, to the edge of the world. But what the heck is that about? It tells me where the sword of Performant lies. Mr. Stobart, I am sure that you are just what you appear to be. A gifted amateur. Thanks, I think. But I can no longer tolerate your interference. There is far more at stake than you realize. So what are you going to do? I regret that we must end this here and now. Your only choice now is whether you die like a man or like a dog. Okay, you're the boss. I'll take my medicine. You are an honorable man, Mr. Stobart. A rare breed. I should like to shake your hand. Yeah, well, what the heck? <laughs> Luckily, the canopy on Ultar's truck broke my fall. Thank goodness for that. The worst part of the experience was Ultar's driving. What about the lens? Is it still in one piece? Oh, yeah. Well, it's good to see you again, Josh. Really? Well, I have to say, I'd have enjoyed Syria a lot more if you'd been there. I wouldn't have been much help. Anyway, you did just fun on your own. I'd better get back to the quest.